Efrosina Cruz, activist and politician. Once there was a girl who didn't want to make tortillas. When her father told her the woman can only make tortillas and children, she burst into tears. She promised to show him that it wasn't true. You can leave this house, but don't spend a single cent for me, he told her. Efrosina started out by selling chewing gum and fruit on the street. She used the money to pay for her studies. She got a degree in accounting and returned home. She started to teach young indigenous girls like herself so that they couldn't find the train to rule their own lives too. One day, she decided to run for a mayor of her time. She won many votes, but the townsmen canceled the election. A woman is mayor? No way, they say. Furious, Efrosina went to work. She found an organization called Diego to help indigenous women fight for their rights. Their symbol was a white ally. Wherever I go, I take this flower to remind people the indigenous women are exactly like that, natural, beautiful, and resilient, Efrosina said. A few years later, she became the first indigenous woman to be elected president of the Oaxacan State Congress. When the First Lady of Mexico came to visit Efrosina, walked arm in arm with her. She showed her father and the whole world that there is nothing the stern indigenous woman of Mexico cannot do. Efrosina Cruz, activista y política. Había una vez una niña que no quería hacer tortillas. Cuando su padre le dijo que las mujeres y niñas solo pueden hacer tortillas, ella se puso a llorar. Prometió demostrarle que no era verdad. Puedes salir de esta casa, pero no esperes ni un centavo de mí, le dijo a ella. Efrosina comenzó vendiendo chicles y frutas en la calle. Ella usó el dinero para pagar sus estudios. Se graduó en contabilidad y regresó a casa. Empezó a enseñar a niñas indígenas como ella para que pudieran encontrar la fuerza para construir sus propias vidas también. Un día decidió postularse para alcaldesa de su pueblo. Ganó muchos votos, pero los ciudadanos cancelaron las elecciones. Una mujer como alcaldesa de ninguna manera, dijeron. Furiosa, Efrosina se fue a trabajar. Fundó una organización llamada Kiego para ayudar a las mujeres indígenas a luchar por sus derechos. Su símbolo era un lirio blanco. Donde quiera que vaya, llevo esta flor para recordar a la gente gente que las mujeres indígenas son exactamente así, naturales, hermosas y resistentes, dijo Efrosina. Poco años después, se convirtió en la primera mujer indígena en ser elegida presidenta del Congreso Estatal de Oaxaca. Cuando la primera dama de México vino a visitarla, Efrosina caminaba del brazo con ella. Ella le mostró a su padre y al mundo entero que no hay nada que las mujeres indígenas fuertes de México no puedan hacer. All right, good morning. Good morning. And what is your name? Evelyn. And where are you from? Mexico. And where's your family from? Uh, Mexico, Jalisco. Okay, very nice. And who did you read about today? Efrosina Cruz. And what did you um, tell us? One thing that she did. She she proved to her time in the world in the world that. No only women have to make tortillas and have children. They can do whatever they want and they can be more than just be have a family and be like making food and those stuff. Very nice. And what's um what's something that resonates with you from her story or something that you would want to see changed? How she proved to her dad and the the other people that the woman only have to make tortillas, they can do whatever they want. I would like to show like my dad or other people that we can do things that they don't expect us to do. Like we can be able to do more things, not just what they want. Very nice. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs>